Hello everyone and welcome to another interpretation of the Psalms. I'm super excited about coming forward with another thought-provoking interpretation for you today. Uh, if you find any of my content relevant, if you find it thought-provoking, if you find it useful, please subscribe, please click like, and please share. If you have the means to support us financially, I encourage you to go to the YouTube page and under the information tab, you will find the links to our GoFundMe and my PayPal um, uh, donations link. All donations are much appreciated. We'll be reading out of the Psalm 128 today. We'll read the entire Psalm. It's a pretty short Psalm. So I will begin. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house, thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace shall be upon Israel. All right, you guys, this is a really interesting interesting psalm in the sense that it's just a congratulatory psalm. It's a psalm saying... Uh, it's an affirmation. It's a. It's just to remind you of the goodness of aligning yourself to God. It starts off with, Bless is everyone that feareth the Lord and that walketh in his ways. Not only do you fear the Lord, you, you actually and, and, and acknowledge the law of God and you walk in the ways of God. You acknowledge God in all of your many walks in life. You make it a devotional upon your life and upon your heart to be able to align yourself with the Word of God and the law of God that is within each and every one of us and abide by that law, law in all of our many walks in life. And by doing so, you're blessed. You're blessed. Your wife, your husband is blessed. Your children are blessed. You see multiplication within your family. Your wife shall be as a, a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. What 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 more can you ask for? Uh, this is fruitfulness. This is bountifulness. This is multiplication. This is strength. This is fortification through the years, through the generations. All of this comes with aligning yourself to God and and doing the righteous thing, not the perfect thing, but the looking to do the righteous thing. When you get in situations where God is tugging at your heart and the law of God is speaking to you to act in a certain manner even though the ego may tell you to do something different, it is this law that is within your heart that you let overrule and override all that the ego tells you that you should do. This is aligning. This is subjecting yourself to the humility of the law. Because the law humble you, friend. It surely will. It keeps you strong. It keeps you aligned. It keeps you, it keeps you in a perfect place. It's like two forks that's going up and down, and you're in the middle, and they're going up and down. It fine-tunes you. It, it leads your direction. That's exactly what it does. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace shall be upon Israel. You will see safety and you will have refuge and you will be you will be protected. Under the law, you will be protected. Just as you'll be protected. And you will see your children's children. You will be able to see the generations. You will be able to. Why is that important? Because it allows you to pass on the wisdom. I speak to this all the time about how these children live, how Noah and his descendants lived so long, and how others were able to be blessed with long lives. Because this is, this is important in regards to passing the information down. It's one thing to get it through a story, but it's another thing to get it from the from the person to be able to see your children's children and to pass on the legacy to be an elder in a home. Blessed is a home that has an elder in it. Lost are homes that have no elder friend. If y'all if you're if you are coming up in an environment where there is no wisdom, from whence does your wisdom come? All of these come through the blessings of God. 
All of these simple things that mean so much are blessings of God. And the only one that can grant you these things are God. Many of the spirits and entities that are powerful in the world must go through God to get these blessings, to pass them on to others. These are all things of God. And in aligning yourself to God, only God can give you these things. Only God can grant you these blessings. This is a short psalm today. I uh, just wanted to come on with a reminder that you're loved and there is a method to the madness. There is a reason why you would want to align yourself to God. Not just because of the benefits, but because it's the righteous thing to do and because it feels good. By default, that is what you were created to do. It feels right. Anything outside of that is heavy. Anything outside of that will turn around and bite you eventually. It, 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 you, it will occur to you at the most inopportune time in your life that you have been on the wrong road. And only God can grant you, grant you the time and the ability to right whatever wrongs you have created in life. It is through your actions that you are judged in this life, friend. I'm telling you. A lot of us have, we, 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 many of us need outlets. You know, it's a blessing to have an outlet. I was thinking about that today. What outlets do we have that we can use to uh, tell it to? That we can trust our, our thoughts with, that we can trust our emotions with. I myself, sometimes I just, I just talk to my phone, friend. I just use my phone as a as a sounding board, as a psychiatrist, as a as a counselor. I just speak to myself. I've been doing this for a long time. And it's a way I can release. I, I saw somewhere where people would text message themselves. They'd be they'd be wanting to get something off of their chest and they would just text message themselves. And I thought that's a phenomenal idea. And so I began just doing videos to myself. The things of this life can become overwhelming at times. Yet, it is the love of God. It is the, the word of God that always brings us back, pulls us back to what matters. We can get lost in the what ifs and the hows and the whens and the whys and all this stuff of life. We can get lost in the second guessing of our decisions or, or wishing we had done something different or wishing we, we hadn't done something or whatever that is. We all have those experiences and we'll get lost in those things. But knowing that you have a source that you can spring forth from, that you can pull from, that you can rest in, that will renew you, that will soothe whatever it is that you may be struggling with, is the most beautiful part of this life. Everything else is just icing on the cake. But the cake, the, 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 the meat of it all is your relationship with God and that God is right inside of you. We're loved more than we'll ever know. I never stop telling you. This is short. I have an appointment, so I have to make this one short. But... Just wanted to come on and honor my commitment in reading my psalm to you today. Be good to yourselves and be good to each other. Peace and love.